Hello my darlings, happy Friday to everybody and welcome back to a speed belt and welcome to a French inspired vineyard farmhouse. That's what I'm going to call it. What a lovely sentence. Um, I just got really inspired with this. I saw a YouTube video of, I love watching people renovate houses. I are like real houses, not just Sims houses. And this couple had bought an old vineyard and it was beautiful and it looked kind of similar to this. Not exact. I kind of put my own spin on things, but I got inspired from it. And I was like, do you know what I want to build? And it was a vineyard in France. Well, French inspired, we're going to say. I tried to sort of think of like sort of French elements and um, especially with like the colour of the stone. We're using that new stone from the Castle Estate kit. We went for a warmer tone with this area. It is in the world of Tartosa and it is on a 50 by 50 lot. So it's a very big lot. Uh, it's obviously got a vineyard because what is a vineyard without a vineyard? Do you know what I mean? So it's, I flopped a vineyard in. We played around with a bit of the terrain manipulation and... It's also got like a little separate area where you can do all your nectar making and stuff. In my head, this place was also a kind of a, a bed and breakfast, but not really a bed and breakfast. But in my head, the people who owned it still lived here. They were, they had their own bedroom, but then there were, there were these two other bedrooms that they kind of rented out on Airbnb, like for the vineyard experience in case you didn't want to drive and you're absolutely sloshed on all of the wine that you've drink, um, drank drunken drank <laughs> all of the wine that you've drank and you've got a place to stay darlings and that is what I kind of had in my head with this one so both of the bedrooms are very similar to each other and I put like a tea set in there and also a free bottle of wine in a couple of glasses um but I just I had a lot of fun playing around with this I really did it was nice to build something a little bit more less British shall we say and play around in a different world as well. I'm not really a huge fan of Tartoso, I won't lie. I don't know what it is about this world. I've just never really warmed to it. Um, and it's weird because the Mediterranean is my one of my favorite places on the planet. Um, but I, I don't know what it is. I just don't think it was executed very well. And that's just me being an absolute Virgo. But I've, I don't know. I don't know. We're not gonna, we're not gonna go down a rant route, but I still liked building here anyway, and I had a lot of fun building this cheeky little build. I really did. So it's got three bedrooms. It's got a big open uh, aspect hallway with a huge landing at the top. It's got two bathrooms, two big bathrooms. It's got a separate uh, sitting area, living room. It has got a separate dining room. It's got a lovely kitchen as well. And it's also got this kind of separate area where in my head it was a kind of barn area but I made it look a little bit more like a cottage and in there it's got a bar it's got areas for people to like sit outside and enjoy the wine and it's also got all of the kind of nectar making sort of capabilities that I kind of left open so the patrons whoever was coming to the vineyard can see the actual process of the nectar being made and it's also got a basement as well below that as well where you can store all of that nectar and make a lot of money from it as well. I think it would be lovely to have a little go at this in gameplay. And that is what I'm going to be doing next week. Like, I'm just going to have a little player test of this. So don't expect this on the gallery uh, until maybe Tuesday, I would say. Because I just want to play around with it and just make sure everything is working. And that's, that goes for a few of my other builds that I've not put up on the gallery recently. It's only because I've not player tested them. And I don't want to play like put a build up if it doesn't work for people. Do you know what I mean? So... Just give me, just give me a chance, loves. All right, and then I'll get it right up for you, my darling. Absolutely littering this place in ivy, and I decided to go ahead and put a little bit of the wisteria over the top of it as well, just to sort of add on to a bit of the texture. Um, and I like it. I love the vibe of it. I really do. This place looks the best in the evening sunshine. So if you do download this lot next week, have a little look at it in the evening sunshine. It's bloody lovely. It really is. You'll see me go ahead and I'll talk a bit more about the actual vineyard itself in a minute. Um, there was a little knack to it that I still wanted to have some gameplay with what I did. So I'll talk I'll talk to you about that in a, in a second. And a tickety-boo. A um, couple of corbels. There we go around putting it. Uh, I love the blue shutters on this build. I just think it looks really lovely with the orange kind of like terracotta tiles. Um, just makes them pop. Pop, my loves. Uh, and I'm using the windows as well from Henford on Bagley. I just really, they, these windows were very similar to the, the Chateau video that I was, not the Chateau, the vineyard video that I was watching. 
Um, so that's where I got the inspiration from. I was like, oh, I could build something like that. We've got very similar windows to that. They didn't have blue shutters, though. I added them myself. Um, and I actually put shutters on the inside as well. So on all of the interior of the windows, we'd go for some nice brown shutters in the interior. And I'm very much for it. Now, around the back of the build here, I really wanted a long kind of canopied area where the people who come and experience the vineyard could come and experience the food as well. Like, so I put a barbecue and stuff out here, but I also put this very near the kitchen with access out to it as well. And a huge dining table. You'll see that a little bit further on. Uh, reasons being, as I said, it would like wine is always gets paired with very nice food. So maybe they always like if they get these lovely patrons in that they could hire in like private chefs to like compliment their wines and stuff and experience it that way. That was in my head. And I thought that would be a lovely little look out here. Now, this is all CC free as well. Did everything with all in-game objects. Um, every now and again, I do like to float in with just all EA objects just to, you know, help out with you guys who don't use CC, especially you console simmers and stuff. Um, so yeah, very nice CC free build it really is. And I, it, I was going to use CC for this, but I was just like, no, do you know what? I'm going to go in with the in-game objects. Um, and that's what I did. Horse Ranch came in um, really well with this as well. It came in, was it clutch? Came in clutch? Is that, is that the word? I don't know. But yeah, it really did. Blended well. Horse Ranch, I'm going to say it. Horse Ranch has got some of the best build and buy items for so many different styles of building. It really has. I've absolutely been using it in so many builds recently. Um, and it's becoming one of my favorites for the build and buy. It really, really is. It's definitely in the top five, that's for sure. So, yeah, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, you know. More corpals. Stunning. And I decided on moving the actual house into the corner of the field so I could have room to put in this little area over here, which is where I said the bar and the nectar making kind of area is going to be. I do make this double height, but I actually knock out the ceiling on top and just put some beams up there just for a bit of drama loves. And drama we definitely got. It did look really nice from the inside. And you'll be able to see that in the video tour at the end because that is what I do with all of my builds, don't I? Yes, indeed. Um, but yeah, Friday's upon us. Don't forget next week, I am going to be releasing the Sam Myshuno save file with a little overview video. That's going to be coming next Friday. So we've got a week today and we've got lots of things to do next week. I'm thinking about doing a little challenge video next week as well. So be on the looks out for another challenge video. We haven't done a challenge video in a while. And we've obviously got the Dream Home series coming as well. So rather nice and date. Um, but yeah, using windows as well from the for, um, for rent, I just thought they really worked with this particular build. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it was. I just thought they really looked nice. They've still got shutters on them and stuff. And the Sims, I've bought out a few like shutter sort of windows and stuff in the past. My wedding stories had some, but I always find them, They, as always with the Sims, they always fail for me personally on swatches and the swatches for all of the windows are just always so garish. I wish they would mute the colors down and go for more sagey greens instead of these like neon teal colors that they tend to like sort of gravitate towards it. I don't know what it is. It's I know it's not just me because I've been I've spoke about it many times um, with other simmers and yeah, human. But uh, there was a nice neutral swatch with this window I'm using now. So I was more than happy with that. I really was. And here we are with a bit of terrain manipulation. So. I kind of like, I wanted like a little, a bit higher on one side, a little bit flatter on the middle. And then I go ahead and put in a bigger bit here. But I knew with the bigger bit, I was going to be carving out a pathway. So I do carve out a pathway up to the main farmhouse itself. Uh, and I just thought it was kind of effective how I did it. And I liked it. I really liked how it came out. And it was a little bit difficult to go through and do put in the vineyard um, objects that I use. But it was even more difficult to go in and put in the actual grape sort of vine that you can actually go and forage for grapes. Now, obviously, grapes um, in The Sims can only be uh, grown in the autumn. So I had to make it autumn in my game. But um, I, there, there's a gameplay aspect to it. This wonderful object here is from the Horse Ranch pack. I love it. It's, it's from the debug. And... I just loved it. I really wanted this kind of like diagonal moment to kind of like work its way all the way up to the actual farmhouse itself. So I had to go through and individually paint all of these. And paint? No, I didn't paint the maiden. Don't be such a silly bum. 
I had to plonk these individually and it, it was a bit tedious but sometimes tedious tasks really settle my brain is anybody else like that I just go into like this zone listening to a podcast or something while I'm doing it and yeah I had a lovely time the thing I was worried about with this was the terrain paint because I went through and terrain painted everything in between all of here all of these different kind of like sectional lines and stuff and I was really worried that it was going to disappear every time I came back into the build but luckily it didn't we were fine and this is what uh, well you'll see the terrain painting in just a second but I actually go in between all I was leaving space in between them it would have been nice if I could line these all, all together so they kind of like connected through but you can see what I'm doing now I'm going and putting a bunch of grapes in between them because it would have been it's nice to have this area as gameplay as well so this is where you actually grow the grapes to use and then come up and forage for them and stuff and um, I really wanted to that aspect coming through here so that's what I did I'm not going to show you all of the grapes I put down because it was very dull I even had to move some down with the tool mod because they were floating in midair and stuff and it was a bit tedious and I had to go through and individually make all of the grapes grow as well to a blossoming harvest you can do that by holding shift and then clicking on the grape and making it kind of bloom so that was a bit tedious as well so all in all, a little bit of a tedious task. I think I spent the most amount of time on this area, to be honest with you, rather than the build, <laughs> because it was just, yeah, it, it took a it took a while. That's all I'm going to say. It did. Using this nice fence as well. I can't remember what fence, where that's from. I think it might be Jungle Adventure. It could be Cats and Dogs as well. I can't really remember, but I just thought it added well to the actual build itself. Um, And yeah, just suited the build. And this is me, as I said, carving out the little gap in the middle and just making a little, not paved path. I wanted this to be a lot more natural. And I'm using my favorite terrain paint. I love this one. Again, a terrain paint that suits a lot of different builds is this one here. Uh, I just love it. I just wish we had more um, and, and better colors as well. I really do. Because there's there are a few terrain paints that I really do like, but I just find the colors like too bright. And yeah, they just don't suit a lot of builds for me. But again, I'm a fussy bastard, so... That's the thing. But yeah, so step one was to go through with this kind of darker redder soil. I wanted kind of like a very redder soil to be where the actual grapes are growing themselves. Maybe they're, it's very fertile from volcanic rock or something. I have no idea. Um, Maybe not in France. Do France, does France have a volcano? I know it's got mountain ranges, but I don't know if it's... Just, that is not a question that I know the answer to. You will have to go and Google it. Um, But yeah, I put them all along the... Uh, the actual vineyard or the vines themselves and then I go through with a couple of different um, terrain paints and it, it, again as I said tedious I went in the middle of this as well with a darker green and every time that I use more than one sort of terrain paint that's usually when my terrain paint disappears and I'm like oh god this is good I'm using about 20 here <laughs> um, but it, all, it was fine it was fine and I managed to save it to the gallery with all of the terrain paint as well so I think when you get this into your game it should be absolutely fine but yeah i do i do like how it came out in the end it was all worth it that's the thing you know when you do these tasks that take a while is it worth it in the end and all you have to say is yes yes is the answer to that and that was this day <laughs> i'm still building this today it's friday i'm doing the voiceover on friday um so i'm still furnishing this today i did manage to finish all of this kind of like midweek but i knew i had to furnish this so this video is probably going to be up a little bit later than normal just because i've been working on this for the quite a lot quite a bit of the day today to be honest with the interiors themselves i really wanted to go for a kind of sort of that french sort of farmhouse-esque vibe um so i use a lot of like tiled floors everywhere um, but I'm thinking more like the, the south of France. There is a big jump in architecture in France um, from the north to the south. But I was thinking more along the lines of the southern France with this build in particular. Um, so that's what I went ahead and did. And this little bit at the back here, I really wanted to have an area where, well, I think we get into putting objects on this in just a second. But an area where this would probably be where the guests would come and park like their car. So I'd make sure to put like a but like a little car out the back here and then come into the vineyard themselves and they get greeted by the owners and i just i thought that was a vibe i really did and i loved using this pink tree i used this pink tree in quite a few places actually um and it sways in the wind beautifully it really does 
and it just really fit with the build really did indeed making sure i'm getting a toilet area into where the bar is i did thought about that last i was like oh you kind of do need a toilet and because if you're drinking all of that wine and you need to go back into the farmhouse and stuff it would just be easier to have a little toilet here you know and that, that's where i put the car in put a car there and i go ahead and put a little like olive-esque tree just next to it keep your shaded loves that's the that's the ticket if it's a hot weather always find a tree to park under unless you don't well that usually results in birds shitting on your car but you know what natural selection as far as i'm concerned <laughs> and i use this um low level plant to death as well because it's got those really lovely pink flowers another object from the horse ranch pack um the horse ranch pack that i utilize quite a bit is that low level um plant because it comes in so many different colors as well like it's got different swatches it is in the debug once again you have to go in and get it that way but it just comes in so handy it really bloody does um, but yeah, I love this little area at the back. It just felt very realistic to me. Don't know why. And I used this one as well from Island Living. I just thought this big like pink bushy hedge kind of fit in well um, with what I was trying to portray across here. Um, and I do like it. Very nice indeed. I was very pleased with this at the end. It really was. Uh, you'll have to let me know what you think of it down below. And as always, you're always so bloody kind. So thank you so much for all your wonderful messages this week. Or your comments, sorry. Um, I've been reading all of them. I've yet to react to the last video, but um, yeah, they are very appreciative. Uh, appreciated, I promise. I read absolutely every single one. Um, so, yeah. Oh, oh, finishing off on a lovely note there. What a wonderful day. <laughs> but, yeah, very, very nice. This little area here, I didn't really know what to do with. Um, so, I plonked a tree in and just did some more landscaping here. And I think it just set the farmhouse into the actual lot a little bit better. And when I was done with it, I was like, yeah, that was the right thing to do. And there was something missing from here. I was going to keep the foundation free of a fence. And I can't remember if I actually record myself putting it in. But I actually go for a fence from the four rent pack. That one there, look. And it just really pulled everything together, I think. Especially with like the colour of the door and stuff. We used the door from the castle estate kit. I just think it really, really worked with this. And yeah, just kept it very simple out here as well. Up here, a couple of chairs. I actually put a little uh, a table in between them. And I put up a little, yeah, a little wine bottle and a couple of wine glasses. That I do that in each of the kind of guest rooms as well. So very nice indeed. And then this balcony here is actually the vineyard owner's private balcony that kind of comes off of their bedroom itself. So I wanted them to have their own kind of space where it's away from guests and things. Um, so I did that. I put a little couple of sun lounges up there so they can sit up there and sun their baps while they're watching their grapes grow, you know? Anyway, here we are. On to the, I don't know what to call this area, the bar. We're going to call it the bar. On to the bar area, I, again, utilised so many of the horse ranch um, objects. But I did want to have seating, as I said, for all of the patrons outside here as well. So I put up some umbrellas because I can imagine it gets very warm during the day. And it's just an area for them to come out, sit right in the kind of vineyard sort of aspect of it. You might see workers there, like picking the vines and um, and they can just be sat there sipping and eating some cheese, maybe. Lovely job. And I, th I think this bar came together quite nicely as well. Uh, again, horse ranch. We are using it to death in this build. It just really suited it. Um, and yeah, I, and I kind of made it look a little bit more along the lines of southern france or mediterranean by adding in artwork i think that's what kind of pulled this together quite nicely even though we are limited on that kind of style of artwork um I've, i still managed to find some nice ones and this area here as you can see is kind of like overcut with a half wall and then you can kind of look into this area and see them squashing grapes and making the actual nectar themselves i just i just like that i thought it was a good thing to do and you can then go down into the cellar the wine cellar area and you know age up your wine if you want now this is at the back of the build where we were and as i said this is an area where i wanted it to be kind of like an evening sort of like place where the all of the guests could come and sit out here maybe with their families and stuff and just have a lovely meal um cooked by a private chef and then paired with lots of nice wines i'm not a fan of wine i don't know but i don't mind it i'm very, i like red there are some reds that i really do like but i do not like white wine or rosé i've tried so many and it just doesn't i haven't got the palate for it it just doesn't agree with me all i can taste is vinegar <laughs> 
and that go I've tried expensive ones I've tried um cheap ones and they just all taste the same to me but I will not turn down a glass of champagne or Prosecco don't mind a bit of Prosecco but I don't know what it is is anybody else like that out there do you not like wine I, but as I said I do like some red wines I really do it's got to be kind of a full-bodied um kind of fruity one for me a bit dry don't mind a bit of dry I'm not really into sweet wines to be honest but yeah, not. Let me know down below. I, I am natural. I am actually interested <laughs> to know if there's anyone out there like that as well. Or is it just me? Is it just me? Just me being quirky? <laughs> so we're into the actual farmhouse itself, starting off with the living area. And I really wanted to get a little bit of a uh, kind of Northern African influence into here as well, because with the um, the I was looking at lots of images and stuff as well of like French farmhouses. Uh, interior wise and I saw quite a lot of kind of sort of northern African influence in the furniture choices and it was kind of paired with this kind of country-esque look with the chairs and things and I just thought it blended really well so I tried to get that across in here you can see we've kind of gone for very classic looking uh wallpapers with the uh coving like the sort of ornate coving but I still managed to pair it with this kind of exposed brick walls everywhere and the tiled floors and i think they're just pulled together do you like this kitchen as well i use the vampire kitchen the green vampire kitchen and i just i don't know what it is about this kitchen i think it really works in this build i love i love that color that green um i wish there was more like that i really do i love the vampire kitchen in itself but i just wish again there was more swatches the swatches we have got are great but I would love to have seen some more of them. I wonder if there's any CC creators who have recolored this kitchen because I do love that kitchen. I'll have to have a little look at that. But yeah, nice big kitchen, big island as well. Maybe this is a place where it gets used by the guests, but also the actual owners themselves. Maybe they cook a breakfast and they can all sit in this smaller dining room, you know, and have a bit of breakfast together. Who knows? Who knows indeed? And this is an office. It probably, it made sense to me for this farmhouse to have an office considering it's a business in itself so I did go ahead and put an office just off of the main entrance area itself and this is right next to the main entrance and hall but also the only bathroom downstairs too I was going to do en suites for the guest bedrooms but it just didn't make sense to me in a farmhouse like an old farmhouse having like two en suites in there especially in the middle of a French countryside it just I don't know i'm kind of going off on what i would see in an english countryside as well so i could be wrong but for this one it just didn't make sense so it's kind of a shared bathroom as well which i have been in many um, b and b's where you have to share a bathroom and it's not the best it isn't but it's a big bathroom i reckon we're going to be okay i only show you how i furnish one of the bedrooms as well which is this one um just because the other one was literally exactly the same um left it exactly the same but we do go ahead now and change up the main bedroom or the owner's bedroom a little bit more and we use a lovely four poster bed and whatnot but that's it my darlings this is the build all complete you are going to go and watch a lovely video tour now and i will be back with you on tuesday goodbye <laughs>